yesterday. Has not changed. Or three days ago. Changed. And it won't for a while. You'd have to find some crazy new glitches in order to get it down. Unless you're just like one of the best runners in the game. We get to crazy pace. style games. That must be the case. Right for the 10 minute runtime, my house star what? What being the file format for two maps and parts? I see. I get what it is. Uh, maybe I'll try it. Not tonight, though. I'll put it in the tab. Not an ARGP too interesting. <sighs> Things they resub sim. This mod is just, wow, watched the whole video and it impacted my life like crazy. I think about it daily since I watched the vid. Holy shit, I'll have to check that out later. This must be a crazy fucking video going over it. Isn't Power Pack the same channel that did the uh, N64 Forbidden Game? I forgot what the name of it was. No, it doesn't look like it. Some people are saying yes. Well, where is it? It was a. Uh, it was like N64 bird game. The Forbidden Bird game. Doesn't look like it was him that did it. But I'll definitely have to check this video out later. It's the first wad to make rooms be able to be on top of each other in the Doom engine. Does a lot of insane stuff never, never done in Doom. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Alright, I'm gonna go say goodnight to Tiana real quick. I'll be right back. <laughs> My health bar is so fucking massive. Head into the haunted town for some adventure as well? I've heard there's a lot of creep. I like evil ghosts that went mad and in with no guest. Don't worry, Brenda. The most right, this is for you. Thanks. And he's gone.
Thanks, Recep Dex.
Yeah, no, like I said, I'll look it up, maybe play it. Sounds cool. Apparently changed one guy's life forever, so that's interesting. Exit Prime, treasure trove. The bits Mac. Should play it instead of watching the lore on it. It's more interesting to discover everything yourself. Takes two to three hours for most people to do everything. Hmm. I don't know, the video seems like it'd probably have everything, because what if I miss shit? Thanks, Risa Bali. Yo! Is it just like a self-contained download and installer? There's the resub game. Diablo. You need Doom 2 Wad and GZ Doom. And it doesn't come in the forum post from Doom World. setting all of it up is not worth it well in the post here it says that there's about 10 minutes of play time why did you say that it takes two to three hours the spoilers reason uh okay well, I'll figure out what I need for it. We can try it later. Later as in like, later this week, not tonight. Thanks for your slot. There you some cookies. Some shiny slides or shiny sides. I'll go in blind. That's fine. I just can't imagine it's actually life changing to do mod. I am open to being pleasantly surprised. You see Stephen King's tweet about the new Flash movie. Yeah, this is another thing that I just, I feel like this has to be some kind of like elaborate scheme. Like everyone's in on the scam or something. Cause literally everything says that this is the best goddamn fucking superhero movie ever made. Which I just, I just can't believe that. But I guess we'll see. Comes out in like three weeks.
Flashpoint is one of the strongest points in DC. I get that, but like, it's not like this movie somehow transcends the problem a lot of DC movies have had with bad CGI. Oh, they just released a new trailer. Classic Ezra Miller. Love you, Pat. I love you too. So, how was it this week? How's school? School was good. Oh, this is mad trippy, dude. This is catastrophic. This one must die. I'm open to being surprised at it being good. I just, I, I don't see how it could be nearly as good as people are saying from the test screenings. screenings they all said Aquaman 2 fucking sucks so I feel like with DC if it's like exceptionally bad even the test the test screen audience will be like yeah this shit was trash didn't the new Indiana Jones movie get a standing ovation don't know where you read that I read nothing but negative things about the new Indiana Jones movie Sucks ass. Oh. They only stood because it was the premiere and he was in the room. Yeah, it sounds about right. I mean, Harrison Ford's great. Just that movie doesn't look good at all. Of X. I don't 
really care that much about like the duration of the standing ovation at the film festival. It's cool, I guess. Or not good, I guess. I
Did you ever play Dungeon Dice Monsters on the PlayStation 2? Yes. Kind of shitty. But Strike Ninja was very cool. Still probably my favorite card. It's a very bad card, but I, I always thought it was a really cool looking one. watching the PlayStation showcase tomorrow. Well, today, I guess, since it's midnight. They should have replaced Ezra Miller with you. Yeah, it would have been a great flash. A quirky goofball. I, I could nail that role. Thanks to Reese non such. on History Channel. Yes, well, I haven't seen a full episode, but I've seen, like, bits and pieces. You see the guy who tried to crash the truck into the White House? Only briefly. When I went to say goodnight to Tiana, I checked Twitter real quick, and apparently some guy tried to crash a U-Haul into the White House. like hit the barrier with it. Did he succeed? I mean, he hit a barrier. He said he did it to take over the government and kill Joe Biden. Let me see, <laughs> let me read about it. He was seeking to harm the president. It's right there in the first paragraph. Threatening to kill, kidnap, and inflict harm on the president, vice president, or family member. President Joe Biden was in the White House when the truck crashed outside. He's lucky Joe didn't hear it, because he wouldn't have lived to see another day. Joe Biden would have swooped out there, ice cream cone in hand, and took him down. He's relieved that no one was injured last night and grateful to the agent and law enforcement officer who responded so quickly. Oh, those guys out here taking a selfie with it. So they found a Nazi flag, I guess. And then people just started showing up and taking selfies. Well, what a, what a plan. It was 19. Can't believe the plan failed. I mean, it seemed pretty well thought out. Oh, 
drive a U-Haul through the White House and kidnap Joe Biden. <laughs> it is... It is... Galaxy Brain. Things are going to be so quick in the Easter. It was a six month plan, apparently. No, I believe that. He probably had like blueprints of the White House and everything with all kinds of arrows drawn, like a cork board with different thumbtacks going to different places. Yeah, no, I believe it. ice cream truck, Joe would have come outside himself. <laughs> yeah, true, six months and he didn't come up with the ice cream truck gambit? Oh, God. You should have been in the, in the room with him. He could have steered him for a better plan. Oh, my God, it was right there in front of us the whole time. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> this barrier was not a blueprint. Yeah, something went awry. I, I can't believe the, the plan didn't go according. The machine. I don't know that movie. You know, Mortal Kombat 1 trailer was great. Thanks to Resub, Hernando, and, and Luki. We're in Kreishner movie. Oh. Lost talking parrot escapes home and talks way back to find owner. Talking parrot that escaped Cape Coral home talks his way back to owner. All of a sudden I hear from behind me, peekaboo! But this was no game of hide and seek. It was a talking bird. A family out enjoying some Easter talk. dinner this past Sunday in Northwest Cape Coral says a parrot flew up to their lanai and just started speaking to them. Little did they know this rare bird was lost and asking them for help. ABC7's Gage Golding shows us That's how this so talking adorable. parrot Holy talked shit. to back home to his owner. We pretty much always leave his <laughs> and he kind of comes and goes as he pleases. To Brent Chadwell and his girlfriend, their bird Tiki is part of the family. The five-year-old Solomon <laughs> Island <laughs> like this is about noise. as rare as parrots get. And last Thursday, he made a rare escape. She was cleaning and I guess didn't realize the cage door was open. And he flew right by her and flew out. For three long days, they were up early and out late looking for Tiki, posting all over social media, searching Aww. for anyone who may have spotted him. I told her, I said, you know, we'll, we'll be really lucky if we ever see Tiki again. Call it their lucky day then. While the family was sitting out on their lanai enjoying a little drink after Easter dinner, they heard something over their shoulder. All of a sudden, I can hear camera work is super. <laughs> With a cocktail in my hand. Birds do talk. It wasn't his nieces and nephews playing games, but rather Tiki trying to grab his attention. Well, that's Tiki's way of telling him, yeah, he helped. Reed's sister, a veterinarian who was in town from Houston, was able to get Tiki in the full bathroom. Basically, asking if anyone lost their pet Harry. Within 15 minutes, we were in touch with Brent, sending him this picture. Yeah, I started that's crying so because sweet. I saw a picture because I knew that was me. Like, the fact that we found him a quarter mile away after three days of miracle. He's like an Easter bear. Now, who would have thought Tiki's little voice would somehow lead him to his owner? He says, Tiki, give me that foot. <laughs> give me that 
smarter crows. Crows are like ridiculously smart. There's the recent Machiavelli and Mystic and Zyri. Yeah, they have generational grudges. Where if you wrong a crow, it won't only hate you, it'll teach their kids to hate you. And their kids will teach their kids to hate you. It's fucking awesome. Scarecrow. Does Scarecrow scare crows even work? I feel like that's just like an old timey myth that people keep up out of tradition now. I can't imagine that actually keeps them out of the field. Stationary scarecrows may keep the crows away for a short period of time, but they quickly become used to them. Moving the scarecrows around every few days does help, but this can be labor intensive. Modern scarecrows use technology to keep the birds away. What technology does it use? Tear gas or something? What do you mean? An annoying noise for it? Yeah, it seems it doesn't really do anything on its own.
looks like he's wearing a shirt. <laughs> yeah, he kind of does. <laughs> he's got the wife beater on. True. Yeah. He's a Risa Yoshi. They bring you gifts. Oh yeah, didn't uh, I'm sure you watched the video on why crows do that? And the explanation is literally they start learning. Like if they bring you something, they get something. It's cool. He's a bit Spartan. Narisa. Sad kitty. this whole movie and I didn't get it. Where's my money back? Thanks, Risa Raymond in the Prime Falcon. The fuck was Guardians confusing? I don't know, man. If you're getting confused by a Marvel movie, you, you gotta take a real hard look in a mirror. And that's, that's like a sit down and think kind of moment. Hey, there's a Pablo. It's Josh. swooping in Australia. I'm very familiar with magpies. Jackson's talked about them before, so I've looked it up. They fucking go hog wild. They, oh, this is also where the meme comes from, by the way. I'm sure you've seen this on Twitter from time to time. This is a magpie just really attacking this poor kid. They're mean motherfuckers. Like just the changing of the season makes them real confident. Like, hey, we beat these humans.
heard of the birds. Oh, there's a movie from 1952. This whistle seems fun. Let's see. The Hitchcock movie. Oh, 1963 is the Hitchcock movie. No, I don't think I've ever seen that one. Director is your favorite? Um, I don't know. I don't know who my favorite director would be. Maybe Nolan? It's hard to say. I think probably Nolan. Moonfall director. Oh, Roland Emmerich? Maybe. Maybe. This guy's this guy's got a beautiful mind. He really does. <laughs> he makes the goofiest fucking films ever. Sound. Ah! It sounds like the large one at the lake. He's only made like two actually good movies, I know. That's the beauty of it. He's got like two decent movies, like actually objectively decent movies, and then the rest is just wild schlock. It's so good. Thank you for allowing Master Mage Aus' spirit to rest. Mainly known for Independence Day and then all the disaster the movies ever made. Lost her mind long ago. So I revealed myself to give you thanks. Uh, You're right. I am but a spirit. No, I don't Unlike see Batman Forever here as a director. Huh. A Maybe a producer? Let's this see. Town. This town never had many natural resources. Master Mage House producers. showed us how to scrape by. We suffered, but we survived. He's a prime ant. God, however, couldn't bear to see us. God also taught Master Mage Alps. The ritual of a single Godzilla movie. By the power of I don't think Roland? there's any yeah, salvation in two years ago. I vaguely Master remember that explains the many evil spirits. It had Godzilla's foot on it, and I thought it was so cool. You mean separating your soul this from your movie. body? That seems treacherous. Was it truly what God wishes for you? Only Master Mage Alice, after becoming a spirit. Common spirits cannot Your concern is most appreciated. It's alright. You hear LeBron might retire? I mean, he's 38 years old. I'm sure it's something he's definitely considering. And if he ever logs on Twitter, he'll be like, Man, fuck you guys, I'm quitting just so I don't have to listen to this shit anymore. Yeah, I assume he's probably gonna retire soon. Maybe not this year or anything, but soon.
Braun going to play a season with Bronny before retiring? I mean, that'd be another what? what how old is Bronny? Be another like two or three years, I think. LeBron James, a men's stance on playing with Bronny in the NBA. Just because that's my goal doesn't mean it's his. Bronny James will be a freshman at USC. So yeah, it'd be at least two years. One year at USC. Probably going to the draft as a rookie if he's not dog shit. So he'd be in his 40s. Turning to college and playing with Bronny at USC. <laughs> That'd be so cool. <laughs> I I bet you I bet you USC would be like, please, brother, this would be amazing. Like an actual Billy Madison story. Give him the red shirt freshman or something. Technically you probably can. He legitimately probably could because he didn't go to college. He got drafted out of high school. So he skipped college. He could actually like redshirt at USC probably if he wanted to and if the NCAA allowed it. Not the NCAA, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that would be fucking amazing if he did that though. Like Goofy and Goofy Movie 2 shows up to class and shit. God, that'd be so good. NBA waives eligibility to play in college. It's LeBron. They would rewrite every rule in the book if they could. Welcome, Welcome to my to shop, shop, dear customers. These are but a taste. I'm not a I am Stan. Imagine LeBron as a rookie in college at fucking 40. That'd be so good. <laughs> that would be so fucking cool. Doesn't LeBron have a producer credit on Space Jam 2? Why not why not make a movie about this? This is gold he's sitting on right here. Dear customer. He can't act. <laughs> he just can't recognize high quality. Best be in acting. I'm classically trained, so when I saw LeBron James in Space Jam 2, I knew I was looking at a timeless performance. Dear customer. Yeah, Sleep Token's a great band. Bronny could have gone to the draft direct. I think it's always smart to at least play one season in, uh, in college. I think that's Dear just customer. important. Even though, like, some of the best didn't go to college, they just went straight to the NBA, but still, I just think that's better. Do you believe LeBron doesn't flop like he says? Oh, no. Le 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 LeBron flops. Everyone fucking f uh, flops. Let me... Where's the one from the other night? I think it's gonna be here, right? Yeah, right no. here. Uh, a complete embellishment. So good. He's actually never been in any team that I've played on in my 20 years where 
we've been a flopping team. Is LeBron the king of flopping, or is this whole thing overblown? Check out LeBron James here as Paul George gingerly touches the tip of his chest. Uh, I'm calling flop here. This one, however, is controversial on the free throw miss. Watch Chris Paul step in and box out. LeBron hits the ground. This one, though, was from actually just a couple nights ago. It's so good. No. Uh, but he is touched in the face, barely. Uh, and then he's like, ah! He's actually never been in it. The clip cuts off, but he slides into the crowd and has a drink spilled on him. It's really dramatic. It's fucking cool. Find the full clip. Here's probably gonna be this one. Into the hands of Bruce Brown. Jokic comes up to get it. Deflected by James. Brown <laughs> ball on Jokic. Uh, a complete embellishment of James. Oh yeah, I forgot he says thanks to the guy for the towel. I honestly thought he was about to like shed some tears here to really sell it because he looks like he's you know starting to swell up a little bit for it. But then he doesn't pull the trigger on it. He's not ready to unleash his full Space Jam 2 acting abilities. Didn't need to. They already called it. It's not just him. I mean, shit, there's so many flops in the NBA. It happens. It's not even just LeBron. It's just that one's so good. Apparently, like, apparently it's not even the only one of this game. Can you challenge a flop? I actually didn't even know you could do that. No, no, I think it was not. Why did the commentators get mad at each other? What the fuck? Please give some Charlie. Counter flop. That's big. I would not want to be a referee in 2020. I will tell you. That. I agree with you. Huge. Parried. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The anti-flop tech. Bro got out flopped. Yeah, this one's a little, like, I feel like the refs only called this one out of obligation for the first flop. Because, like, legitimately, this is just, like, just actually playing defense. <laughs> like, just normal defense. <laughs> like, uh, like, this one's even more egregious than James, but James started it, he blew the lid off. So I think they had to call, like, a, a reverse flop. Thanks to the bits crib. Marcus Smart is the king of flops, is he? Marcus Smart is the flop god. Dear customers,
What's even the point of flopping that position? I actually don't understand. You already you already have full possession there. Unless he just like actually lost his bounce, he's like, fuck it, I'll flop and sell it. There's a world there. He does like the flop. Kind of like just to draw the foul there? Yeah, but that's kind of a useless one there, right? I guess I don't know what the situation was with like where they were in fouls. Maybe maybe it was worth it. It just seems like a useless one. that all the important places of holy ground my dear customers this is mere wait wait aren't these the equipment in dear customer many extraordinary objects exist whether it rest assured the magic only i checked it Ephraim. all the equipment Ephraim's never heard of i've seen so many interesting <laughs> yo That's gotta be an awful legacy to have. Things that recent Pillsbury and Infinite, even calling them out on the shows itself. He embraces it. That's sad. Why are we in the flop rabbit hole? Oh, we were talking about LeBron flop from the other night. Someone said Marcus Smart's like the master of it. These are some froggy. Who's your favorite player of all time? Alan Iverson. Oh, I, I've seen plenty. I did tear one nacho. Those are just, well, no, those are absolutely worse than NBA flops. Right? Like it's a foul on you for flopping, right? 
I actually haven't gotten to catch a flop live in a game. No, you still just get fined. I thought... I really thought you ended up getting a flop call by yourself. Holy shit. <laughs> Did he hit his head on the floor? That probably actually fucking hurt. Smart and his flops, but one thing you can never 